Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from All Russian Mathematical Olympiad, 11th grade, 4th round, 1991, problem number 1. Let A, B and C be non-negative numbers such that A plus B plus C equals 1. We wish to prove that 1 plus A times 1 plus B plus 1 times 1 plus C is greater than or equal 8 times 1 minus A, 1 minus B, 1 minus C. So, here are my hints for this problem. First, consider what happens if a equals 1, or if b equals 1, or if c equals 1. And suppose that, second case, suppose that a, b, and c are strictly less than 1, and consider the following function, f of x equals binary logarithm of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. Show that, use second derivative, to show that uh, this function is strictly convex on our interval, 0, 1, and use the Jensen's inequality, use the Jensen's inequality uh, to show that our inequality is true. So I'll give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. All right, so case number one, let's consider case number one. If a is one, or if b is 1, or c is 1. If this is the case, then on the left hand side, notice that the sum of um, these numbers is 1. So if one of them is 1, the other two numbers must be 0. So the left hand side is 2 times 1 times 1, which is 2, while the right hand side is 8 times uh, 0 times 1 times 1, which is 0. So our inequality holds and is strict. So left-hand side is strictly greater than right-hand side. All right. So let's consider second case, case number 2. If our numbers are between 0 but less than 1, then consider, then let Let's consider the following, then. Our inequality, which says that 1 plus a, 1 plus b, 1 plus c, greater than 8, 1 minus a, 1 minus b, 1 minus c. Notice that we can divide by 1 minus a, 1 minus b, 1 minus c. And we can divide, and we know that we are dividing by non-zero positive numbers. So this should be equal greater than or equal 8. And let's take binary logarithm. So binary logarithm of 1 plus a over 1 minus a plus the binary logarithm of 1 plus b, 1 minus c plus the binary logarithm of 1 plus c, 1 minus c should be greater than or equal 3. Or... We can write it in the following way. We can divide everything by 3. should be greater than or equal 1. All right. And notice that here we have some function with arguments a, b, and c. And also this should be b. And so let's consider. So let f of x be equal to the binary logarithm of 1 plus a over 1 minus a or not a but x or x between 0 and 1. I claim that this function is strictly convex and to do that I will just compute the first derivative and maybe also the second one. We, we shall see. So the derivative of binary logarithm is 1 over natural log of 2 times 1 plus x 1 minus x or to, have, to avoid ambiguity, let's write it in the reversed order. All right, times the derivative of 1 plus x times 1 minus x, so it's 1 minus x squared. Uh, and now the derivative of 1 plus x is 1, so we have 1 minus x minus 1 plus x times the derivative of the denominator, which is minus 1, right? So our derivative is what? 
in the numerator we have two, two, and in the denominator we will have one minus x squared times natural log of two after some simplifications. All right, so we have this function, and notice that now I can either compute the second derivative or I can do the following. Notice that one minus x squared function which is in the denominator is strictly decreasing. It's strictly decreasing and positive uh, on the interval from 0 to 1. So, which means that f prime is strictly increasing. on the interval from 0 to 1. It's strictly increasing, which means that our function is strictly convex. Again, you can also use the second derivative to show that, but we see that this function is decreasing, so everything, whole function is increasing. So our function is strictly convex. Now I will use Jensen's inequality by Jensen's inequality by Jensen's inequality. Since our function is strictly convex, we know that f of a plus f of b plus f of c over 3 is greater than or equal f of a plus b plus c over 3. And what is a plus b plus c over 3? Let's see. Uh, f of a plus b plus c over 3. The sum of these numbers is 1. So we have f of 1 third. So it's binary logarithm of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. So we have binary logarithm of 4 over 2 of 2, which is 1. Which means if we go back notice that this is exactly f of a plus f of b plus f of c over 3 and this is exactly 1. So this inequality which I will mark by asterisk this implies that asterisk is true. It's true. And moreover which closes our proof? But, by the way, we can also say when equality is attained, because our function is strictly convex, we know that equality is attained if and only if all of our numbers are equal, so which happens at one third. Equality at our condition asterisk is attained if and only if if and only if a, b, and c are equal and equal one third, which closes our problem. So as you have seen, second derivatives and uh, convex functions, derivatives and Jensen's inequality are very, very helpful when proving inequalities. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.